Hello and welcome to this section of the Calculus One Derivative Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to learn about how to take derivatives of functions that involve the natural logarithm. That's the LN button uh, on your calculator there. So we'll give you a little bit of a review about what a natural log is uh, and then we'll teach you how to take a derivative of that guy and then we'll do a lot of problems to show you how to do that when the functions get more and more complicated. So what you're going to find is that up until now, all of the rules of differentiation that you have learned really enable you to take derivatives of almost any function you can think of. Um, definitely algebraic functions, radicals, powers with expo you know, exponents in there, even fractional exponents, negative exponents. You can do a lot of things. You know the trigonometric derivative, so you can use that in concert with the chain rule and other things to do really complicated, uh, taking derivative of really complicated functions. Uh, but as you go up and up in math, some additional functions pop up uh, more than others, uh, and so we're going to learn how to take the derivative of those. Obviously, the trig functions pop up all the time in science and engineering, so we have learned how to take the derivative of that. Another guy that pops up all the time in science and engineering is the natural log. Now, don't forget, when we say natural log, it's just a regular logarithm like you've learned about in algebra with a base, instead of a base 10, like a regular LOG log that you might see on your calculator, instead of a base 10, a natural logarithm is base E, where E is that special number 2.71, and then a lot of decimals after that. E pops up all over in nature. It's something you'll find in almost every science class from here on out. E and pi are just best friends, and E and pi pop up all the time. Of course, pi is a lot more famous than E, but the, the, the natural number E pops up all the time. So what we want to do is recall what this guy is before we learn how to take the derivative of it. Recall the natural log. Okay, so we sort of talked about it, but just to drill it home, basically there should be a button on your calculator with ln. It might be a second function somewhere, but you'll see ln of x. That means Basically, if you see ln of x, what it really means is it's the regular logarithm like you've learned about before, but instead of a base 10 here, which is typically what log is referencing, base 10, uh, it's base e. So when you see uh, natural log of x, is how you would say it, natural log of x, it's just a regular logarithm with a base e of x. And what this really means when you have a natural log of anything is, just to kind of make it clear, it's base e which I've denoted here. And what it basically means is if I have the natural log of, a, of a, a number, I put a number in the calculator and hit the natural log button. Basically what the calculator is trying to do is it's trying to take the base that's implied here, that's an E right here. It's taking that base, it's trying to raise it to some power that it's trying to calculate so that the answer will be X that I put into my calculator. So whenever I take, uh, you know, three, and I press the natural log button. The calculator is going through and iterating through some calculations and it's trying to find an exponent such that e raised to the power of whatever exponent I find is the answer is going to give me the, the number that I put in there. So what the natural log is really doing is finding this exponent. That's what it's doing. It's taking the base, finding some exponent that will equal whatever it is you typed into it and that's what the natural log is doing. Um, you know, I could go on and on as to why it's useful. What you're going to find is that as you finish through calculus one and two and three and you go on into differential equations and you go into physics and engineering, you're just going to find that the, this, this base E here, this number E is very, very special, just like pi. So uh, this natural log function, which involves base E, pops up a lot. It definitely pops up.